Oh, everything's fine. Don't worry, viewers. Everything is completely fine. What am I alluding to? Well, if you are tuning in now, well, hi, um, you know, watch the beginning of the series. But if you're tuning in now, um, <clears throat> in the last episode, I, I decided out of these six decks right here, I rolled a six-sided dice to decide which one I'd play. I It landed on four, meaning I have to play tunes, which, you know, it's not so bad on itself, but my here in her duelist challenge is running a Harpy Lady deck. Harpy Ladies excel in destroying spell and trap cards, which, if you didn't know, include Toon World, and if Toon World gets destroyed, all my monsters are destroyed. So, in other words, Harpies hard counter Toon. <sighs> I'm gonna be fighting an uphill battle here, basically. Honestly, Pegasus better consider himself lucky that he didn't face Mai in the finals, because he would have been hard countered. And this is not good, I ended up bricking. Crap. Ugh. Yeah, I, I have nothing. The main downfall of Toon decks is that you need to have Toon World in your hand. Like, it, it's just so, so necessary. Oh god, what is she exceed summoning? That's not a wind! Or a winged beast support, my! Ah, <sighs> jeez, um... Yeah, my only option is to set this and absorb damage. Ah, oh, jeez. Um. Uh, I guess. I guess I have to set. God, I am bricking hard. I think I need to do some revisions to um to this deck just to make just to minimize the brick. Um basically your goal when it comes to making a deck it shouldn't be to make it so that the deck okay, well, yeah, I I I just lost. Yeah. The goal shouldn't be to make a deck that never bricks. It should be to minimize the brick. As best as you can, anyway. Ugh. Okay, so. It's, f it's funny, I suspect my might have bricked as well. So I'm gonna do my strategy as it is before, just get tune table just get all my tune table of contents to my hand. You know, just to clear out my deck. And then get Tune Kingdom to Kingdom to my hand. Activate it. Okay, what got banished? Okay, that's not bad. And then special summon harp, um, tune mermaid in defense mode. And then just pray I don't get screwed over. Well... Uh, this is fine. 
I'm going to use the effect of Toon Kingdom here. Then I'm going to use the effect of Toon Kingdom again. Again, not a Toon card, my. Oh, geez. Can... I think I remember this. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Her deck just hard counters mine. There, uh, There's nothing I can do. Like, uh, there is nothing I can do. I'm I'm basically just fighting an uphill battle here. Heck, I don't even think I made a bad version of a Toon World deck. It's just it, it's just my deck just hard counters this deck so hard. Okay, X Siege. Okay, X Siege Summon. Lightning Chidori. Fuck. <sighs> Har <sighs> I'm not allowed to switch decks. I I'm, I'm not allowed to switch decks. That's the sad part. Oh my god. Yeah, she can go into Harpy's Phantasma Dragon now. Oh my god. I... I am getting... Are you kidding me, game? Oh my god. Oh. I can't switch decks. I can't. Not out of stubbornness, just... <sighs> I'll add both of my Toon Kingdoms to my hand. Just in case she destroys one. <sighs> Off screen, I'm definitely going to be making some adjustments to this. Okay, what got sent? Ugh. This is fine. Please summon Harpy Chandler. Eh? No. Hunting ground? Oh. Toon Mask. Yeah, they're all going to get destroyed, so I'll just um get the least I'll get, just get the least useful one out of the way. Kingdom again. 
I banished my only necro face. Are you kidding me, game? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, you're gonna be forced to destroy hunting ground. Like, just, oh my god. Oh my god. I actually can't do anything. I actually can't fucking do anything. Yeah, I- oh my god! What the f- ah! Oh. <clears throat> Round five! Ah. <laughs> uh. Magical mallet. I'm sending everything back into my deck. Aside from ch graceful charity. Okay. Still, I still got a couple plays here. Um, gonna go for Toon Dark Magician. Then I'm gonna normal Toon Goblin Attack Force. I'm not going to normal Toon Mermaid. Thanks, game. Fucking appreciate it. Summon in defense mode. Activate Shadow Tune. Normal summon. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, I physically can't do anything. Like, I'm, I'm getting to sh Oh my god, I physically can't do anything.
this this is a, this is suffering of my own fucking making. This 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 is actual fucking torture. Ugh. Let's open a window. <laughs> okay. Normal summon. Are you serious, game? Oh. Yeah, he's gonna go into Lightning Chidori and just. Yeah, I, I can't do anything. I, I can't fucking do anything. I'm just gonna be in this infinite fucking loop. Okay. Okay, I need to make some changes. If this this clearly keeps happening. I need to make some changes. <laughs> this is actual torture. I wish that the new Satoon support cards were available in the Pokora set. to wait. No. Okay, now. Okay. Goblin attack force. I can only attack with Toon Mermaid and Toon Gemini Elf. Activate effect of Toon Kingdom. Ah, oh, geez, what got banished? Oh! And now. Uh, uh. Damn it, I meant to act. Ugh. It's fine, it's fine. <clears throat> okay. Again, tribute goblin attack force and mermaid. Wait, I should have attacked. <sighs> yeah, f oh my god, I'm an. Oh, I'm an idiot. 
I should have attacked for game. Oh, if I would have attacked for game, my suffering would have been over. This is fine. This is fine. This, 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 this is fine. Use the effect of Toon Kingdom. Oh no. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that and then just, you know, get rid of my own Toon World. Yeah, that, that that's a brilliant idea. <sighs> Yay! Just one change to the deck helped so, so much. Oh. I'm gonna have to work on more consistency with tunes. Oh my god. Okay, well, um. Let's continue on. Pain and suffering's over for now. <laughs> All right, let's see what I roll. Roll to three, so we're using skull servants. Okay, so going to set and then set and then set down morphing jar. Now, assuming it gets attacked, eh, well, whatever. I don't care. You know, this oddly fits Mako. Discard your shit! Activate the effect of right prince? Yes. <laughs> uh, you know what? Yes. Let's see. Let's go right prince. Its effect should still activate. Yes. Now notice, now. <clears throat> now basically notice how that, oh. Oh geez. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna see that. Oh! I didn't know that that card existed. Huh. Anyway. Yeah, so I'd like to point something out. Notice how it says that its effects are negated. Well, I'm pretty... Well, it's negated on the field, but it's a card that activates from the graveyard, so that's why. So that's how that works. Anyway, what does this do? 
Once per turn, you can pay. Okay. I'm not worried. King of the Skull Servants. Just gonna attack this, ju just to get rid of it. Okay, so I'm going to set this card face down, and I'm going to end my turn. Then I'm going to activate Hand Destruction. Why didn't I set my Mirror Force first? Oh, oh, because then I wouldn't be able to activate it. Also, Mirror Force is useless to me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to activate Mizuki's effect. By banishing it, I can special summon one King of the... Uh, one zombie monster from my graveyard, and I'm choosing King of the Skull Servants. And then I can still normal summon. Now, this deck might seem really overpowered, but trust me, against like um, the modern meta, it's pretty weak. But hey, it's a pretty fun rogue deck in my opinion. I like it. And now, I think to close this episode off, we are going to battle Maximilian Pegasus. Now, let's see what we get. Okay, we got a five. So, eh, this is oddly appropriate. He's using a Medoje deck. I'm going to go first. Um, Medoches are interesting, you'll see. Hopefully I have a chance to use it later on in this Let's Play. Okay, going to normal summon Dark uh, magi Magician's Rod, activate its effect, and I'm going to add Dark Magic Circle to my hand. Then I'm going to use Dark Magic Circle. Interesting. I'm going to put Pot of Greed. Oh no. Anyway. So, if I have an opportunity to. Okay, let me show it off, Pegasus. So as you can see, when it's sent to the graveyard, then it shuffles itself back into the deck. It's a very interesting archetype that I like quite a bit. Uh, okay. Alright, so I'm going to normal summon Chocolate Magician Girl. Then I'm going to activate its effect. And send Magician's Robe to my graveyard. Huh. Oh, well, that worked out. Um. And then I guess I'm just going to attack Hootcake. Yeah, its effect is going to go off, shuffling itself back into the deck. Again, I quite like this archetype. Okay. So, I'm going to normal summon Magician's Robe. Then I'm going to activate the effect of Chocolate Magician Girl, and discard my Dark Magician. Next up, I'm going to activate another Dark Magic Circle. Hmm, nice. Let's see, add designated cards. I'm going to add Dark Magic Attack. Ah, uh, alright, so... And then I'm going to activate um, Monster Reborn to bring to special summon Dark Magician. And then activate Dark Magic Circle. It gets banished. Okay, well. Mm -hmm. 
its effect doesn't go off, huh? All right then. Um, I'm going to now activate Dark Magic Attack. Okay. Now let's see. Um. Now I think I'm going to activate the Eye of Tamias. And special summon Amulet Dragon. <clears throat> yep. And then seven cards get banished. Imagine if it was spells and traps, that'd be funny. Uh, no. Okay. Now, first things first, I'm gonna have Chocolate Magician Girl attack. I wonder if Guardian Yatos would be really beneficial in this deck. Hmm. Maybe I'll try that out one day. Okay, now I'm going to activate Magician's Robes effect, send Dark Magic Inheritance, and special summon Dark Magician. Wait, I should have waited. Ah, yeah, made a, made a misplay there. I should have waited bef until he, yeah, that's why. Ah, rub it in, why don't you, game? Um... So I'm going to activate Chocolate Magician Girl's effect to send Apple to my graveyard. Now I'm going to activate Dark Magic Circle. Okay. Add designated cards to my hand. Yes, I'm going to choose Dark Magic Inheritance. <clears throat> and and these the order doesn't matter. Okay. Going to put that into those into defense mode and attack with Am Amulet Dragon. Eh, that's fair. But Amulet Dragon's effect is going to activate, allowing me to special summon back Dark Magician. And then Dark Magic Circle is going to activate, banishing his face down. Eh, that's fine. This is fine. Okay. Now I'm going to activate Dark Magic Inheritance, banish those two spells. And then... Oh! Yeah! This is game. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize I could do that. So anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Um, and next time we are going to continue on... Yeah, just continue on. <laughs> See you guys then.